So guys, the steps I'm going to be showing you in this video may look a bit different depending on your web browser, but it's still going to be pretty similar. So for the first step, you're going to click on the three dots in the top right, and then click on settings. And now on the left hand side, you're going to scroll down and then click on about Chrome or about your web browser. You're going to make sure that your web browser is fully up to date. If there's an update, it should be doing it for you automatically. So make sure that your web browser is fully up to date. And now for the second step, you're going to click on the three dots in the top right, and then click on extensions, and then click on manage extensions. You want to make sure that you have no extensions that you think may be causing a problem. If you see any of that, you either want to disable it or remove it. It will let you do it when you get to this page. And now for the next step, you're going to click on the three dots in the top right again, and then click on history, and then click on history again. Now you're going to click on delete browsing data. And now once this comes up, you want to make sure you have the time range set to all time. Make sure they have cookies and other site data and cache both selected, and then click on delete data. And then once you do all of that, you just want to close out of Chrome or your web browser, and then open it back up again and then the problem should be fixed. And if the problem is not fixed, then you wanna click on the three dots and then click on settings. On the left hand side, you wanna scroll down and then click on reset settings. And then click on restore settings. And then click on reset settings again. And now you just wanna close out of your web browser again, open it back up again, and then the problem should be fixed.